New research finds that tornadoes form from the ground up, contrary to popular thought. This is by Lauren Lipuma of American Geophysical Union in sunphys.org. This is a picture of a tornado in Galatia, Kansas, 25th May 2012, as it was decaying. New research challenges existing assumptions about how tornadoes form. Historically, scientists assumed tornadoes rotating, rotation began in storm clouds, that is way above the earth, creating a funnel that travels downwards. This theory matches what storm chasers commonly observe visually in the field. Viewers often report seeing funnel clouds gradually descending until they make contact to the ground. However, new research combining a new type of Doppler radar with photos and videos of tornadoes forming by supercell thunderstorms shows the opposite is true. Tornadoes materialize from the ground up. Weather forecasters typically issue tornado warnings based on radar observations of strong rotation above the ground, but the new findings suggest forecasters must re-evaluate their warning procedures according to the researchers. Quote, we need to reconsider the paradigms that we have to explain tornado formations, and we especially need to communicate this to forecasters who are trying to make warnings and issue warnings, said Jana Hauser, meteorologist at Ohio University in Athens, who will uh, present her new findings here today at the American Geophysical Union's fall meeting. Quote, you are not going to really ever be finding strong evidence of a tornado descending, so we need to stop making that a priority in our forecasting strategies, end quote. Research conducted in 1970 suggests tornadoes form from rotation that starts several kilometers above Earth's surface. The theory was that this funneling, funnel gradually, uh, gradually sucked in air from below, descending until it touched the ground. Most meteorologists have accepted this theory of tornado formation. But a series of new observations from rapidly scanning radars has started to change that. One of the pivotal cases contributing to the new understanding of tornado formation occurred May 31, 2013. On this day, the El Reno tornado formed in central Oklahoma and shattered previous tornado records. It was the widest tornado ever recorded, peaking at 4.2 kilometers, that's 2.6 miles wide. It had wind speeds of more than 480 kilometers an hour. That's 300 miles per hour, the second highest wind speeds recorded on Earth. Hauser and a team of researchers from the University of Oklahoma happened to be monitoring the storm with a new type of mobile Doppler radar system that collected tornado wind speeds every 30 seconds. Afterwards, Anton Seaman, a geographer at Appalachia State University in Bonn, North Carolina, who had chased the El Reno storm, collected hundreds of still photos and videos of the epic twister from citizens and fellow storm chasers. When Hauser compared her radar, radar data with images collected by Seaman, she noticed something very odd. The images clearly showed a visible tornado at the ground several minutes before her radar picked it up. Puzzled, Hauser went back through her radar data and analyzed the data taken at the ground it's typically difficult to get good radar measurements at or near the ground, but Hauser and her team had deployed their instrument on the site, a slight rise, and there were no obstructions between them and the tornado, so this time they had good data, good enough to work with. She found clear evidence of rotation at the ground before there was rotation at higher altitudes. Hauser then examined other sets of tornado data and found that, in many cases, tornado strength rotating develops at or near the ground first, rather than starting in the cloud itself. In all four data sets she analyzed, none of the tornadoes formed following the classical top-down process. Quote, it emphasizes the fact that we need to have strong, low-level, basically near-ground level rotation located in the right spot at the right time with respect to the larger parent storm circulations in order to form a tornado, Hauser said. This is by the American Geophysical Union. It is on phys.org.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you. Thank you.